<laughs> this video is for those of you that just wants a job. Well, under the World Trade Organization, it's coming. It started. Right here in Freeport Grand Bahama, free trade. This is a part of what free trade gives you. Do you agree with this guy? <laughs> this is KCX. Watch this. Masango works long hours in tough conditions, all for only $36 per week. If that sounds low, it is, even by South African standards, where the legal minimum wage is $57 per week. Many people would describe Masango's factory as a sweatshop, and many would say that the owners of the sweatshop are treating Masango and their other employees unfairly. The point I want to make here is that even if sweatshop workers are treated unfairly, there are three points to be made in defense of sweatshops. First, it's important to remember that the exchange between the worker and her employer is mutually beneficial, even when it's unfair. Sweatshops make their employees better off, even if they don't make them as much better off as critics think they should. The second point to be made in defense of sweatshops is this. Even if you think sweatshop labor is unfair, it's a bad idea to prohibit it. Think of it this way. People only take sweatshop jobs because they're desperately poor and low on options. But taking away sweatshops does nothing to eliminate that poverty or to enhance their options. In fact, it only reduces them further, taking away what workers themselves regard as the best option they have. And while you can make it illegal for factories to pay low wages, you cannot make it illegal for them to pay no wages by shutting down altogether. The third and final point is this. It's better to do something to help the problem of global poverty than it is to do nothing. And sweatshops are doing something to help. They're giving people jobs that pay better than their other alternatives, and they're contributing to a process of economic development that has the potential to affect dramatic increases in living standards. Maybe the sweatshop is run by people who are greedy and shallow in their motivations. And maybe the other company is run by people with the purest of intentions. But good intentions don't get you a job and they don't feed your family. So, which looks better now? <laughs>